Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Google Chrome version 94 started rolling out recently, which is the latest stable release to the Chrome web browser. And I did post two videos on this latest update yesterday. Now in Chrome 94, there is a feature called idle detection, which is enabled by default in both the desktop and, and Android version of Google Chrome. And basically what this feature does is it allows websites to detect when you're not using your device. Now this is causing a bit of a privacy concern for some and both Mozilla and Apple say that they are not going to be using this feature in their browsers uh, due to these ongoing privacy concerns regarding idle detection. Now just to give you a better understanding, let's just head over to Chrome platform status where we can see Chrome version 94 rolled out two days ago. And in the features in this release, yeah, you will see idle detection. And if we click on that, it'll just give us a better understanding of what this uh, feature is all about. The idle de detection API notifies developers when a user is idle, indicating such things as lack of interaction with the keyboard, mouse, screen, activation of a screensaver, locking of the screen, or moving to a different screen, a developer-defined threshold triggers the notification. And then if we click on this link, that'll take us over um, where we can find out um, what idle detection is actually used for. And it says here, use the idle detection API to find out when the user isn't actively using their device as mentioned. And this was updated on the 25th of August, 2021. And here are some usage cases for idle detection API. And some examples include Chat applications or online social networking sites can use this API to let the user know if their contacts are currently reachable. And then the second example is publicly exposed kiosk apps. For example, in museums can use this API to return to the home view if no one interacts with the kiosk anymore. And then the last example is apps that require expensive calculations. For example, to draw charts can limit these calculations two moments when the user interacts with their device. So if you are a little bit concerned as well regarding privacy and what this idle detection API is used for, and these are just some examples as mentioned, then you can actually disable the feature. Now the settings are buried quite deep in the Chrome browser. So what we do, the easiest way, is just go to your Omnibox, your address bar, and just enter this entry, which is Chrome colon forward slash forward slash settings forward slash content forward slash idle detection. And I will leave this entry down below in the description box that you can just copy and paste it yourself. And here we go. And the default setting, as I mentioned, sites can ask to know when you're actively using your device. And then you can turn the feature off completely. Don't allow sites to know when you're actively using your device. And then you have some customized behaviors. Um, you can um, not allow to know when you're actively using your device. You can add your own custom sites and allow to know when you're actively using your device. You can also add your own custom sites. So if you are concerned about this uh, uh, idle detection feature, then you can just turn the feature off and that will uh, disable the feature in your browser. And then none of those, um, you know, it, it will, then it won't be able to, to detect when you are actively um, using your device. So I just wanted to let you know, so if privacy is a concern of yours with Google Chrome, then you can go and turn that feature off. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.